हेलो गाइस, आई एम सत्यम एंड यू आर हियर ऑन आर वन एंड ऑल चैनल सत्यम आइडियल लर्निंग एंड गाइस, आर टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल पॉलिनेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज पॉलिनेशन व्हाट आर द um uh, self pollination and cross pollination and what are the agents of pollination we have already discussed these things so you can watch my previous videos and now we will be discussing about what artificial pollination now what is the meaning of artificial pollination pollination as we already know in pollination pollination is the process in which the pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma okay this is very much clear now artificial pollination means pollination is occurring by artificial means by artificial means we are making a plant to do pollination so that it can uh, the variety which will be formed after that can be better okay if i give you an example like for an example if there is a plant which is a disease resistant from a certain disease it is resistant from a certain disease okay so if a plant is there which is resistant to a certain disease but the yield is very low the yield is not high okay so the plant does not yield high okay so if we take an example that like a uh, plant which is disease resistant to a certain disease and it doesn't pr produce very high yield then what will happen then what we will do we will make the disease resistant quality the disease resistant character will combine this disease uh, resistant character to the high yielding character the combination will be formed and a new variety of plant will be formed with the help of pollination okay so what we will be doing by artificial means we will be making a plant to do pollination and the example that i have already told you the disease resistant characters will be combined the combination of disease resistant characters and the high yielding character will produce a variety um, a, a plant which is disease resistant also and the production is very high the yield is also very high okay this is how a variety is produced by artificial pollination and now we will be discussing how artificial pollination occurs okay so we have already discussed that the artificial pollination what are the um, uh, benefits that a plant will grow in a better condition okay a better plant will be grow a better variety of a plant will be grow now artificial pollination so when we start the artificial pollination how it occurs two varieties with one or more desired characters are selected we will take two varieties of plant okay and we have to make sure that they should have one or more desired characters that we want okay so they should have one or more desired characters okay they must belong to the same species guys this is the most and most important thing that they must belong to the same species the two variety of the plant should belong to the same species and they should have one or more desired characters now the stamen of the flowers of one variety like this is one variety and this is second variety okay so this is the second and this is the first now what will we doing if my first variety has the male reproductive system as well as the female reproductive system so what uh, what i will do the stem uh, sorry the stamen of flowers of when one variety these are my two plants this has also stamen and uh, uh, gynoecium and androecium it has also and it has also now what i will do from the second one 
I will cut the stamen before it matures. I will what do? I will cut the stamen before it matures. The stamen of flowers of one variety. First le lo ya fir second le lo. Kisi ek ka stamen cut kar dena. Okay. So you have to cut the stamen of one of the variety. Okay. So the stamen of flowers of one variety are removed before anther matures. This thing you have to remember. Before the anther matures, you have to cut it. And then gynecium is covered with a bag. And then it uh, it has no stamen. The one of the variety will no uh, will have no stamen. Then there will be only be gynecium. And then we will cover the gynecium with a bag. Okay. So example I have already given you. So if you take a two variety of plant and from one of the variety you have to cut the stamen before the anther matures and then uh, gynecium will be the will be left and then you have to cover the gynecium with a bag why we have to cover to prevent natural pollination so that natural pollination cannot occur to prevent natural pollination we have to cover the gynecium with the bag so pollen grains for from the second variety now this is my first variety and this is the second variety i have removed the stamen before the anther matures and i have covered the gynecium with the bag now so that uh, no pollination can occur now what i will do see pollen grains from the second variety from the second variety i will take the pollen grains okay i will take the pollen grains from the second variety okay from the anther and collected okay so pollen grains from the second variety are collected and brushed onto stigma of the first variety now this is my first variety i will open the poly bag and i will brush the anther brush the pollen grains upon the stigma okay so i will brush the pollen grains upon the stigma of the plant that i have already covered it, covered it out with the bag okay so i will open it and then i will get uh, i will take pollen grains and i will brush upon the stigma and now what i will do see pollen grains from the second variety are collected and brushed onto stigma of the first variety the flowers of first variety are again covered by bag now we have to cover the flower again okay with the bag of the first variety okay so see the main role is that we will take the two variety of plant and then what we will do we will take we will take one of them and we will cut the stamen before the anther matures and then we will cover the gynecium with the poly bag or any kind of bag so that to prevent the natural pollination pollination and then what we will do we will take the uh, pollen grains from the second variety and then we will brushes we will brush it upon the stigma of the first variety okay and now what will happen when we brushed up the flowers of the first variety are again covered now the first variety will again covered uh, are again covered by bag to avoid pollen from other sources now this will be again covered so that it can prevent pollen from other sources so that pollen cannot come and uh, then pollination cannot occur because we have done artificial pollination no that is why okay so we have been covering and then after covering what will happen now the natural reproduction will occur in the first variety of the plant so the natural reproduction will occur and then the new variety has been formed so the new variety has been formed now come process of obtaining a new variety by artificial means is called hybridization so what is the process in which we do artificial by doing artificial means the pollination is occurring so process of obtaining a new variety the process of obtaining a new variety by artificial means is called what hybridization so what is the process 
by doing it a new variety has been formed by artificial means we are doing and that is known as hybridization so there has been written a simple definition process of obtaining a new variety by artificial means is called hybridization and the new variety of the plant is called what hybrid so you have to remember these two things so hybridization is a process and hybrid is the new variety which we have been obtained after the artificial pollination has been done the new variety has been formed that is known as hybrid and the process of obtaining a new variety by artificial means is called hybridization you have to remember this and the most important is this thing artificial means is very important guys the process by which we are doing artificial means also and now the new variety is obtained that is known as hybridization that is why i am repeating so that you can have the clear in your mind okay so the new variety is known as what hybrid and what are the hybrid varieties wheat rice these are some of the hybrid varieties examples of the hybrid varieties so guys artificial pollination tell me in the comment section so that i can let me know that how much you have understood from my video okay so thank you guys and bye bye we will meet in the next time very soon